comes out of Germany late this afternoon. It isn't even news. Let me just... This is a rumor. It is a rumor. It is a claim. It has not been confirmed. Pure rumor. But it came out of uh, Germany from a source that is in a position to actually know the subject matter. The rumor coming out of Germany this afternoon was that Deutsche Bank allegedly filed bankruptcy. Now, this is a rumor. It is not confirmed, and I have been unable to confirm it. I have tried. No one that I've spoken to is confirming this. And I went back to the source, and I said, you know, not for anything. Nobody's confirming this. And the source said, well, I think it's probably going to be all over the news worldwide tomorrow. I said, well, you know, this is a big deal, what you're saying. Deutsche Bank, the biggest bank, one of the biggest banks in Germany. And, of course, for everyone who knows, Deutsche Bank is the bank for derivatives trading. And we're talking about derivatives contracts in the value range of quadrillions of dollars, right? Not millions, not billions, not trillions, quadrillions. And derivatives contracts are, are at their very core, outright gambling. It's just, I think that if Joe and John meet, Joe will not shake John's hand. And somebody says, I think Joe will shake John's hand. Really? Well, what do you put up? I'll put up $10,000 that that, uh, they will shake hands. And the other guy says, all right, uh, I'll put up, uh, uh, I'll see you, bet I'll give you eight to one odds on your 10,000 that he won't. And the other guy says, yes, they draw up a contract. Deutsche Bank is the place to put that contract. And so there's quadrillions, uh, unspeakable, almost unfathomable amounts of money being wagered, really, on the outcome of certain events, certain farming contracts, certain production contracts. I mean, it could be just about anything. The problem is these contracts get so convoluted. They get so many different players betting on so many different things. And then there are bets uh, on the bets that if the bank, which handles these things, were to go under, it would, in one fell swoop, wreck quadrillions worth of dollars in derivatives contracts. There's no way of even knowing if the world economy could even continue doing business if all those contracts were suddenly unworkable or suddenly invalid. It's staggering how fast the world's economy would come to a halt. So when this particular source conveyed a rumor that Deutsche Bank allegedly filed bankruptcy, that was that was a big deal for me. And, you know, I tried to verify it. I have been unable to verify it. I definitely do not want to be responsible for uh, crashing the stock of a bank, and I definitely do not have any intention and of, of causing people to withdraw their money from a bank. So, you know, I, I'm reiterating it's a rumor just a rumor there's no confirmation because i'll tell you folks if this did in fact take place 
we would be facing economic upheaval, the likes of which this world has never seen. Now, let's presume for just a second that um, the sun, the moon, the stars all align in the right way and everything goes bad. Let's imagine, if we can, that uh, we wake up one morning and we turn on our TV news or the radio news and we hear a report that says something like, and again, this is fake, right? Um, <clears throat> all the banks have been ordered closed. ATMs are offline. Credit and debit cards will not work. And stores are only accepting cash money. No credit cards, no debit cards, no checks. Where would that leave you? Where would that leave your family? If you woke up one morning and found that the entire financial system was, <clears throat> of course, temporarily, temporarily shut down. Credit cards do not work. Debit cards do not work. Cash machines do not work, and checks will not be accepted. Merchants are dealing in cash only. What would you do? How would you fill your car up with gas? How would you get to work? How would you buy food? Do you have enough food to feed your family for a week or two if everything's shut down and you can't get any money? You don't? How do you expect to get by? You need to have some, you know, reserves, folks. I don't care if it's boxes of pasta, which, you know, stay good on a shelf for two years, as long as you don't open them. I don't care if you got cans and cans of soup. I don't care if you got bags and bags of rice. You got to have something. A lot of you don't, especially those of you that live in urban areas. You think, ah, oh, I'll just go to the supermarket. I'll just go to the grocery store. How are you going to pay if you don't have money? The other thing is, if this type of a situation were to take place, what do you think everybody would be trying to get their hands on, aside from cash? Food, water, gasoline, right? So everybody would be storming to the supermarkets. How long do you think they'd stay stocked? Yeah. Not long. And with financial transactions down, how many tractor trailers would be able to get fuel to carry a load of food to the supermarket to restock it? Maybe not enough. And, you know, the average supermarket in the United States only has three days worth of inventory. Here in the metropolitan New York City area, supermarkets have to get tractor trailer deliveries several times a day to keep their shelves stocked. So what do you do when the supermarket runs out and the grocery stores run out? Now there is no food. What do you do? And that temporary shutdown that they said with the banks it goes on to day two, day three. How about like it was in Greece two weeks? What are you going to do to feed yourself and your family. And nobody thinks about that because it's never happened. But just because it never happened doesn't mean it can't. And with the, the situation going on in the world today, you really need to have some preparations in case. All right? You just, you need to. Emergency food, emergency water, a couple of gallons of fuel. You know, and then there's the natural events, right? What if the sun gives off this gigantic solar flare that hits Earth straight on the way the Carrington event did in the 1700s? And an electromagnetic pulse, the likes of which this planet hasn't seen in 400 years, hits us again and fries the electric grid. Imagine no electricity... Say, well, I got a generator. Great. How much fuel you got? 
And some people don't even have a generator. So, you know, after the refrigerator has no electric for four hours, the stuff inside is going to start warming up. And after about eight or 12 hours, a lot of the stuff in that refrigerator is going to be warm enough to start going bad. And after about 24 hours, the stuff in the refrigerator is going to be no good. Are you prepared if there's no electric for a couple of weeks? Do you know there are studies out, these are government studies, that indicate if electricity went out, 90% of the population in the United States would be dead within 60 days. Yeah. Because, you know, what runs on electric? Well, uh, your water supply. People in cities, they get municipal water. The water companies have gigantic water pumps that run on electricity. Yeah. Nobody takes a, a, a bucket to a well, scoop up five gallons of water and walk it home. Nobody does that. Right? There Are, are there even any wells in, in the big cities anymore? I don't even know. You know, people in rural areas, they have well water. Most of them run on electricity, but some of them still have hand pumps. You know, like you've seen the old cowboy movies, the old westerns. Pump, 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 and the water starts coming out. You know, without water, a human dies in three days. Three days. You can go 15, 20, 30, 40 days without food. But if you don't have water, 72 hours, you're dead. Maybe 96 hours. But you, know, you can't live without water. So, I mean, if the electro, if an electromagnetic pulse happened, be it from a solar flare or, God forbid, a, a nuclear detonation 300 miles above the country, knocks out the power grid for two, three, four months, 90%, 90, 9 out of 10 of us be dead. Lack of water, lack of food, lack of medicine, hospitals, they got wonderful life-saving technology, all runs on electric Pharmaceutical companies make wonderful medicines and painkillers. Their machines all run on electric. No electric means no medicine, no operations, no nothing. Are you prepared at all to deal with this? Deutsche Bank is just a tip. I'll be right back. It's going to occur tomorrow, right? It happened also at Citibank. Now, these banks didn't say that they got hacked or anything like that. Inside rumor, again, rumor, is that they were front-running the Deutsche Bank bankruptcy. Trying to stay ahead of it. Uh, you know, the banks, they're very highly leveraged, and they are interdependent. If one major bank fails, a lot of others are going to fall like dominoes. So, you know, and, and a lot of financial experts predict that there's going to be some sort of massive economic collapse. I don't know. But I also was told today that the Federal Reserve called an emergency meeting in Washington, D.C. today. And while I was not privy to the topic of the meeting, I found out from a source that it allegedly discussed Deutsche Bank. Now, I don't know if this is true, but a little too, a little too coincidental that a lot of these things are all pointing toward Deutsche Bank. And I don't think the uh, Germans would be too thrilled to have to announce that Germany's, Germany's biggest bank may have gone bankrupt. So, you know, there's a lot at stake here. And... I don't know what kind of wreckage a banking collapse would really have. Um, I don't know if, if, let's say, presume for a minute that it actually did go bankrupt. It might be a very orderly, controlled process, which would be okay. Or it could be, I guess, complete chaos. I don't know which it would be. You guys better, you know, have some cash. Fill the cars up. With the gas, 
get the you know get your fridge stocked get some self stable foods that can stay in the pantry for a year and tuna fish soups macaroni rice beans you got to have something you got to prepare because if stuff like this actually takes place and the banks close down or the electric goes off or God only knows what else, a lot of people out there are going to get hungry real fast. And if you live like I do in an urban area, it will not be long before the savages come out. You know who I mean. Yeah. Yeah. The one, you know, there many of them are part of the "give me free shit" crowd. What do you want? I want free shit. Give me my free shit. All right, you know who I'm talking about. Then the savages come out. They're gonna come up to you and I say, "Please, I'm hungry. Feed me." And they say, "Give me all your food." Right? You better be ready. So, uh, you know, Deutsche Bank. Real question about what's going on with the bank right now. Rumors coming out of Germany that they may have filed bankruptcy. I cannot confirm the rumors. I can tell you that uh, last Thursday and Friday, Bank of America shut down. Citibank also shut down. They didn't say they were hacked or anything, but no debit, no ATM, no transferring of money. Something's up. And you better be prepared. Because if things go to hell in a handbasket... The money you have, the cash money, it is not going to go toward paying your bills. The cash is going to go to survival, food, maybe fuel. That's it. It ain't going to pay the credit cards, (laughs) pay the gas and electric, the tax. It ain't going for that. It's going to be cash is king to survive. And you. 